to these third points and one in the middle. Everything is brought together. We check that everything is aligned. And uh, as you can see, the gingiva. Okay, to get all the needed information, we are going to need an antagonist scan, a pre-op scan, an op scan, occlusion scan, and also a lot of uh, additional data scanning. For the additional scan, what you see here is uh, a scanning of the denture. We start from the occlusal surface, then we go to the palatal surface, and then uh, to the labial surface of the denture, and we scan everything together. We make sure that the scan is precise. and. Um, then we are done here in this step. If we would like to also get the interior of this cell denture, we should first reline it with material and then start the scan from the inner side of the denture and go to the teeth. Okay, in the next step, we are going to scan the pre-op. The pre-op uh, is being composed of the temp prosthesis of this patient and we start from the occlusal surface, uh, and we gather a lot of detail. It's very easily scannable. It's like a, a fixed uh, prosthesis. It's a fixed prosthesis, so it has a lot of detail. But we will also try going from the occlusal down to also get the fixed gingiva on the labial and um, also on the lingual side, because this fixed gingiva just uh, just beneath the prosthesis is going to help us align the scans all together and um, as you can see even if we angle the teeth we just try to get the lower side of this prosthesis that comes together with a fixed gingiva and also after everything is done we are going to go posterior of this prosthesis and get the fixed gingiva of the rest of the jaw on the distal. Okay. Now we're going to scan the occlusion, occlusion starting uh, on, from the canines and going to um, the molars. I'm trying to uh, really get as much detail here as possible on both sides to be able to get a good um, fitting of the final prosthesis. And now we are going to remove uh, the temp prosthesis and place scan healing caps uh, on the field and um, after we place them uh, the implants in the front are a little too tight together so we are just going to skip a uh, scan healing cap we placed everything in and now we are going to start and delete the temp prosthesis and here I want you to be extra careful and not delete the fixed gingiva just beneath this prosthesis so get extra careful get slow and just cut a little bit of the prosthesis and the gingiva leaving as much detail here as possible we go around with a trimming tool and as you see here once everything is done, we have a floating prosthesis and we're just going to treat it as a floating island and it just disappears. And now we start scanning with the scan, scan healing caps on top. And you're going to see how easy the scanner will find the new uh, position of the uh, op stage. We're going to just add data. The scan healing caps are going to help us a lot with this because they add geometry to a flat ridge. This is one of the possibilities. And as you can see, we try to get first the upper part of the scan healing caps, but then we angle the tip of the scanner in such a manner that we try to capture all of the geometry of these uh, healing caps. So, or as, at least as much of it as possible. Because a neat trick in the end, if you have a scan healing cap, you can really subtract it from this uh, scan and also so you will get the healing profile. Okay, go to the next stage. 
and we are going to scan the prosthesis with the scan analogs on its intelligence. To do this, first we are going to remove all the gingiva and we are going to use smart data cleaning. We just go and deselect the strength, we go in the lock option, and in the lock option we are just going to lock the teeth. Now we are going, because the teeth are locked and cannot be deleted, we get outside the locking stage and just select everything. And now because we select everything but the teeth are blocked, only the gingiva will be selectable and in this way we have just, we have just removed all the gingiva. Okay, so now we deselect everything, we close this. And we are going to start taking, uh, impressioning new data over the prosthesis with the uh, analogs already inserted in the multi unit fittings on the set 10 prosthesis. You can see data is adding up nicely. We try to get everything because one, this is going to uh, be usable as a nice wax up if every, everything is to your liking. And second, this scan analogs can uh, really help us align this prosthesis with um, the scan values if we are not able to do a correct alignment based on the ginger. So, as you can see, the last pieces of data are revealed. Uh, and now we are done. Okay, now we are going to seat our uh, scan abutments. We are going to place each scan abutment so that it uh, can actually, it, that the wings face the lingual side. And we try to uh, get every wing facing uh, the midline so that our frame that we are going to place over them uh, sticks to everything together. So now the last scan body is fixed. We tighten everything very good together. Okay, and now we are going to start injecting material in the wings. We first we test the frame. In this case, we, I think we use the big frame because we have six units. So we start injecting material inside the wings so that uh, this material gives retention to the, uh, to, to the surfaces. And now we place material, we place the frame and add material on top of it, bringing everything together. And now we hold everything in place until uh, it sets and we are ready to scan. Now, uh, I would like to mention that uh, one of the uses of OptiSplint is to um, actually in this step uh, screw everything out and scan this outside the mouth, be it with your internal scanner or send it to the technician to scan with the lab scanner. Scanning with the lab scanner of this structure will give a huge precision bonus but you will have to be very attentive because these materials when setting are going to have uh, are going to contract so if you want to send this to the technician you have to validate your material that you are using to have as little contraction as possible this is why i actually don't like to remove them from the mouse and scan them inside the mouse to um, not uh, have to be uh, confronted with contraction and uh, maybe a subpar impression on the lab scanner. But there are materials that the providers say that have almost zero contraction. So if you want to do that protocol, just please validate your material and setting. Okay. Now we are going forward to scanning this structure and to scan this structure as you can see we start from one uh, scan body and try to get to the next scan body by using the material on top of the frame and on the wings 
This is because it's, it has a lot of geometry, as you can see, it's very easy to scan and to go forward to. So we jump from one scan body to the frame, then to the next scan body, to, then again to the frame, and then after everything is tied together in one mesh, we start adding data from beneath the scan bodies. We already got parts of the, um, of the job, but now we can actually try and get more and more of the fixed gingiva and try to angulate our scan tip uh, between uh, the scan bodies and get as much data as possible here. Now, what we have here can be aligned as you see in the end of the, uh, of the presentation, in two ways, by using the fixed gingiva, and this is why we try and get as much fixed gingiva in this stage as possible, but it can also be aligned to the uh, temporal species by using the analogs that we just scanned in the previous step. Okay, so this is uh, going to conclude our presentation of optics Splint. We are going to uh, open Medic Design, select the meshes that we need, everything together. I forgot one, so I'm going to add, uh, also add this together. And as you can see, we can now um, start aligning the objects. First, we are going to align the prosthesis with the digital scan analogs. And this is going to be very straightforward and we're going to um, handle it, as you can see, automatically for the simple reason that there is a huge amount of common data between the pre-op and uh, this prosthesis. So the pre-op is going to be the fixed position and this prosthesis, that is an additional scan, is going to be brought on the correct position. As you can see, everything is green. And going further down the road, we are going to deselect these meshes and now align um, the op stage that contains the scan healing caps that we did before with the, uh, the scan buttons and to be able to do this of course we are going to try an automatic alignment but this is uh, very rarely possible because the information is so widely uh, different so to do this, we are going to use a three-point alignment. We are going to look for data that is present in both scans. And after we validate everything, as you can see here, we have two distal points and one in the middle. Everything is brought together. We check that everything is aligned. And uh, as you can see, the gingiva has a green line all over the place. And now the scan bodies are in a correct position to the pre -op.